Hello everyone, it's your boy Dave Partner, and uh, we're continuing the creation of uh, Ajax. Um, I'm taking it step by step so you understand everything about Ajax. Now remember, the pattern, the step we're following, or the method we're following, is to do that first without Ajax. Once we accomplish the, the task without Ajax, then we can see how we can convert it to Ajax. That way, it will make a whole lot of sense to you, you will understand it because um, sometimes Ajax confuses a whole lot of people so I'm following it the right way now in the past video uh, what we're trying to achieve is to add users to projects and what we do is um, I try to remind you that users has a special relationship with projects where users has a many to many relationship with projects and then there's a middle table uh, a joint table between users and projects now what we um, if you had this problem, then uh, probably I had it. Let me just uh, try and fix this error. So this error is basically saying that the ad user was not um, defined. First of all, remember that this is going to be we on the on the shoulder blade page, and um, we are on the the method that we're going to use to add users. Let me find it. Okay. Okay, this is crazy. Uh, this is companies. Uh, we're on the show the blade page for uh, the projects, and uh, this is the form that we're supposed to use to add members. Somebody's gonna click on the add, and this form will add. Now, the method for this form is post, and um, our error is complaining that this route hasn't been created. That's uh, the error we're basically getting here. So, in projects that add user hasn't been created. All right. So, what we're gonna do is to um, cross check what we created. Remember that the method is post. What we're gonna do is to go to um, our routes web.php. We had um, projects add user. Uh, we're gonna convert it to post. Oops, this is supposed to be post. Okay. So if this is a post request, we wouldn't have to treat it as a get request. So this uh, post ID project ID we're trying to pass here. We don't need to pass it and then if we go back to the shoulder blade we're trying to pass a project id in the um in the field here we don't really need to pass it here we're just gonna have to pass it uh in the body of the message just as a hidden field so to do that we'll create a hidden field i'm just gonna paste this here so we'll create a hidden field um right here this is the input box I need to show you this as I'm doing this so you understand what we're doing. Um, I'll refresh this page. Refresh this page. So I have to pause and explain named parameters very well to you so that you don't run into this kind of errors uh, next time. Now, when you say route and you put a name here or an address, um, Laravel is expecting this thing to exist exactly as it is project.name in a uh, your web.php folder file in this case we just defined the route we didn't give it a name so we have to actually name this route where we say uh, that the name is projects dot add user so laravel automatically knows that uh, once it sees project dot add user anywhere in this application it is referring to this particular route you understand so um if we refresh this page now, our error should be gone. Now it's gone. Now there's another way to uh, solve our problem, which may not always be ideal, but I just have to show you at this moment. Now instead of declaring a route directly, what we can do is just to copy um, this, um, delete this, put this, and then this way. So um, if we just say project slash add user, Laravel is basically looking uh, for this other guy here. You get, uh, and it, it will work just uh, as well as um, the other one, but not in all cases. So me, I prefer to always um, add, give it a named parameter, you understand? Now the reason why all our other forms worked perfectly without um, throwing up errors is that um, they are defining the resource. This is what I mean. We have... Um, in shoulder blade um, we define this now the reason why 
all our other forms let's say um, let me just rewind this is what we have let's say we have create the blade in create the blade file we had this guy routes.store and um, it didn't throw up any error for us and uh, the reason is that under um, projects um, dot store is a predefined named route that comes with Laravel resource. So if we go to web.php under projects, remember it's a resource. So it has dot create dot dot store. I told you, I taught you that in the beginning. It has a number of them dot delete and so on. So once you put Laravel resource, it has some predefined named parameters. Now, if you want to form your own URL or route, if you want to form your own route, you have to give it a named parameter. Otherwise, you'll be getting this kind of um, error that we just got so now we fix the error the next thing we are going to do is to actually go uh, to projects controller create this application this um, method and start working with it so if I go to Laravel uh, HTTP controllers I will open projects controller and um, I think somewhere in the past video we created a, an ad user uh, field so we now have we created this so in the next video I will explain some things about the relationship and then we are good to go so we'll start adding stuff here thank you very much see you in the next video